I'm Emily from the Water and Wildlife Habitat Trust. At Snake Creek we're hoping to restore the stream to a more of a natural pool reform run habitat. The Snake Creek restoration project is a significant project. We're looking at restoring up to four kilometres of waterway. We've got a number of different groups out here doing the ecological monitoring today. We've got the um, University of Canterbury Carrick's team here, we've got ECAN and we've got Fish and Game. Some of the things that we'll be doing to Snake Creek to try and improve the habitat is we'll be putting in some sediment traps, we'll be re-battering the side of the bank to make it a more gentle slope for planting and a less erosion prone and we'll be putting in in-stream features such as boulders and bits of wood to try and create a more natural habitat. In order to measure the success of the project we're collecting a lot of baseline data and we'll be able to go back in several years time and see how well we've done. We're going to measure a lot of different variables. Here we're collecting um, some data on the amount of sediment that's on the stream bed, what the substrate's like and how steep the banks are. In order to see how well the invertebrate community responds to the work we're doing, we're collecting some serba samples here which we'll be able to compare in three to five years time. We're also collecting a lot of data on the amount of fish life that is in the stream. So we used uh, electric fishing to establish how many species we had in the stream and how many of each species were present. During the construction phase at Snake Creek there may be some discharge that comes from the rebattering. We're doing our best to reduce the amount that is discharged but people may notice a bit of discoloration in the Selwyn where the silver stream flows out.